hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i just want to take the time out to thank everyone for being here with me those that are returning thank you for being a part of the family those that are new welcome to the family guys i'm just asking you kindly please remember to like to share to subscribe please share this video with your friends and family share this video on your page so that persons who want to learn can learn with us okay i appreciate it so much please please help out your girl and share this video like comment and subscribe at the end thank you so much i love you guys so 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 much today i will be teaching the difference between homonyms and homophones let's get straight into the lesson <music> is homonym homonyms are words that have the same pronunciation and spelling but different meanings so homonyms are words that have the same pronunciation and spelling but have different meaning so words that pronounce the same they spell the same but they have different meanings right so that is homonym. They spell the same, they pronounce the same, but their meanings are different. Okay? Okay. Examples of homonyms. Remember, I said homonyms are words that spell the same, pronounce the same, but different meaning. Example, the word address. Address means to speak to. And it also means the location of somewhere. So address, they are spelled the same, they pronounce the same, but they have two different meanings. One meaning to speak to something. So when you address someone, you have a meeting and you're, you're speaking to them. Or when you want to give someone your location, that also means address. You understand? Another example is here. Here, this means oxygen and it also means little tuning. So when your tire need air, you go to the garage to get your tire some air so that you can drive, right? Also the word band. A band can mean a musical group. So a musical group is called a band. And also, your wedding ring is your band, right? Another word, bark. The outer part of a tree is called bark. And the sound that a dog makes is also bark, okay? Remember, homonyms are words that spell the same, they pronounce the same, but their meaning is different. So the other example is bat. So a nocturnal flying mama. So you know bat, that is um, the flying mama that sleeps in a cave, only comes out at night, right? And bat is something that you use to hit a ball. So if you're playing cricket, the bat you use to hit a ball, okay? The other example is bright. Bright, when someone is intelligent or smart, you say that they're bright. And also, when you have a light that fill out the room, you say the light is bright. You understand so far? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section if you're understanding what I'm saying thus far. The other example is circular. A store advertisement and also a form of a circle. So circular is when you advertise something, they say you a store advertisement. They say it is circular and the circle, when you make a circle, that's also called circular. Another example is current. When something is up to date, you say that it is current and also the flow of water. So when water is flowing, they call it current. Okay. And when something is up to date, it is also referred to as current. 
Examples of homonyms in sentences. I can play basketball. I bought a soda can. So the word can, you can use it when you're playing basketball and you can also use it when you're referring to a soda can. Okay? The Bible is my favorite book. So a literal book, which is the Bible, that's an example, or I book a room at a hotel last night. That's another way to use the word book. Booking a room at a hotel. Okay? Another example would be Jane helped me to hand out flyers for the, for the concert. So Jane helped me to hand out flyers for the concert. So giving someone something is like you you're handing it out and my hand really hurts after falling down so the word hand in this case would be your literal hand on your body okay next example on my lunch break i bought a sandwich so break in this case would be when you are at work and you have your lunch break that's breaking the other example i break my leg when i fell off my bike so breaking this sentence would be something that is torn apart okay i was afraid to give paul my home address so address would be where i live the principal address the scene of class so this is speaking to someone what is homophone Homophones are words that have the same pronunciation but have different spelling and meaning. Same pronunciation but different spellings and meaning. So the words they sound alike but they spell different and they have different meaning. Examples of homophones. Accessory. Accessory. As you can see, they pronounce the same, but they spell different and they are, they have different meaning. Second, scent. Scent. Hour. Hour. Break. Break. Heal. Heal. Not. Not. Sell. Sell. Hear. Here, poor, poor. As you can see, all these words, they are pronounced the same but spelled differently. Examples of homophones in sentences. Jane pressed her foot down sharply on the brake pedal. They use brute force to break down the door. So brake in the first example would be the brake of a car. And the break in the second one would be when you break something, you, you break it in two, okay? He is an accessory to the murder. Sunglasses are much more than a fashion accessory. So the word accessory to a murder would be that you are an accomplice. And accessory regarding the sunglass would be something that you wear to up your fashion, okay? They confine the prisoner in a cell. Grocery stores sell many foods that have been processed. So cell in the first one would be a, a, a cell where you keep prisoner, right? And the second one is to sell someone something, okay? Guys, if you have not liked this video as yet, please go ahead and like subscribe and please 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 remember to share this video so that other persons that want to learn can come and learn with us and be a part of the family another example would be i am sure that he will pay back every cent he owes you so cent in this case would be money the scent of her perfume lingered on in the room so scent would be some smelling something okay the ointment will help to heal your cut and scratches. So heal in this sentence would be to get better. He threw the cigarette down and ground it under his heel. So heal in this sentence would be ground it under your shoes. 
cover the pot and bake for an hour then the cake will be ready so hour in this sense would be the time okay poverty shows us who are our friends and who are our enemies so in this case hour would mean the difference between people who really cares for us who is our friend or who is pretending okay well guys this is the end of our lesson thank you for being here with me thank you for being a part of the family please remember to like share subscribe please guys share this with your friends and family let them be a part of us until next time bye love you